This is where I like to keep some of my bunnies because it's the best shade that I have on my property. Um, I wanted to talk about kids and chores. So uh, we started out with nine bunnies. We got them from a friend. We, we traded some chickens for a whole litter of bunnies and their mother. One mother, nine babies. And I gave the chore of feeding and watering them to Paige. And um, this is where things get a little bit tricky with farming and children is that if you take on more than you can do personally and more than you can personally keep checked up on, then the odds of losing animals is pretty high. Um, does Paige know how to do her chores? Yes. Does she always want to do her chores? No. And so we've had some problems with her telling me that she's got her chores done when what she did was do a walk by and saw that they had some water left in their water and that um, they had a little bit of food left and that that doesn't work well because in this heat you have dehydration problems and when you have growing bunnies and you don't have enough food in there they're growing so fast that they'll just they'll just give out because that at that rate of growth you 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 just need to have plenty of food and um so uh, we had something of emergency where over the course of two days she was coming first one dead bunny and then the next day or two days later she came in and there were three dead bunnies um, so um, we don't know if it was because I hadn't been giving them as much weeds or because Paige had been giving them the wrong kind of weeds, or if it was just that the alfalfa cubes that we give our adults to keep them from getting too too big, too obese, um, just didn't have the right blend for the bunnies. But I do know that their water wasn't coming out of their bottle. They had completely full water bottles, and but they were really thirsty, and it turned out that the necks had been crunched down from the suction, and so it wasn't actually giving any water. Um, that's what we think anyway. Um, and so the trick with kids and chores on the farm is don't take on more than what you can check on yourself. And it's just, even though Paige was sad about the fact that the bunnies died, she was really sad about it. Her favorite one died. The next day, she still wanted to get away with not doing her chores. Even though she knew that not doing her chores meant the bunnies would die, she didn't want to have to check up on it as much as it needed to happen. And so um, put that in your pipe and smoke it. It does teach kids responsibility. It teaches them the consequences of, of disobedience and that kind of thing. But you don't want your animals suffering in the meantime. It's really heartbreaking to come out and find that something starved to death or didn't have water. So the same thing happened yesterday. Um, I didn't make it out to check it and Paige swore up and down that she'd taken care of it and I came out this morning to two empty water bottles which if she had filled them up which is the rule the rule is that if it isn't absolutely filled up to the very very top you bring the water in and you fill it up if, if it's halfway that's not good enough it needs to be filled up all the way and so um, and then she saw that their food food had run out so when she said that she came out and fed them I assumed that she'd given them enough but she hadn't and so it, it's not her fault it, if something happens with your animals like this it's generally has to just kind of be the parents fault because it's your responsibility that the animals aren't suffering so there's that the bunny, bunnies are doing well now they there are two water bottles on the baby's cages just so that we have a backup because they're up here away from the other animals and again the reason I have them back here instead of with the other animals is because the shade and the airflow up here is better um, it's not so hot and where they're black especially I don't want them overheating